Every ride is a make-or-break moment in the mad world of professional bull riding, where one wrong move can cost you your life. It's a brutal and unforgiving place where danger and bravery go hand in hand. But there's one man who stands out from the rest. His journey has been a roller coaster of highs and lows, and it's about to take a shocking and almost tragic turn. But who is this mysterious figure? He's none other than Jerome Davis, a man who is a living example of perseverance. So what happens when a rising star in one of the world's most dangerous sports faces a life-changing challenge? How does someone confront a twist of fate that threatens to extinguish their brightest flame? Take a look at this breathtaking tale of courage, power, and an unstoppable attitude, which is not just about a dude who rides bulls, but a true hero who went against all odds and created a legacy that extends far beyond the rodeo. Early life. Born on a bright summer day in Colorado Springs, Colorado, Jerome's world was one of constant movement and change from the very start. Just six months after his birth, he and his family relocated to a place that would shape his destiny, the Davis Family Ranch in Archdale, North Carolina. In the rolling hills of North Carolina, young Jerome found his playground among the fields and forests of the family ranch. His early years were filled with daring activities. He did all sorts of cool stuff as a kid, like racing motocross, hunting and fishing, and being a huge fan of NASCAR. He loved anything that got his heart pumping with excitement. But there was a single interest that blazed most brightly. At the tender age of 11, Jerome faced a challenge that would define his life's trajectory, his first bull ride. It wasn't just any ride, it was a rite of passage, a moment that sparked a flame in his heart. Though he didn't stay on for the full eight seconds, that ride imprinted a dream in young Jerome's soul. It was a journey that began with falls and failures, but each one only fueled his passion further. By just his fourth ride, Jerome stayed on for the full eight seconds, a feat that many seasoned riders strive for. The rodeo arena became his second home, participating in 12 to 15 events a year, each ride writing a new chapter in his emerging story. Going where passion and perseverance can lead, Jerome's early life saw him go from a small child with a dream in the rural landscapes of North Carolina to a determined youth facing the powerful bulls. However, this was only the beginning of a journey that would take him to heights he never imagined and to challenges he never expected. Rising Career Jerome's abilities grew along with him. The high school years were a time of budding success and the building of a champion. His first buckle, a mark of rodeo greatness was the proud result of his tireless dedication to the sport. This wasn't just a win, it was an announcement of a new contender in the world of bull riding. His high school days weren't just marked by this victory. Jerome was a regular on the rodeo circuit, participating in numerous events and showcasing his growing skills. 1990 marked a significant milestone when he was crowned the North Carolina State Rodeo Champion a title that represented the arrival of a rare talent in the world of rodeo. Jerome's journey then took him to Odessa Junior College in Texas, a place where his passion met opportunity. It was here, as a freshman, that he clinched the National Intercollegiate Rodeo Association's Bull Riding Championship. This wasn't just a win, it was a proof of his relentless pursuit of excellence and a hint at what was about to happen in the future. At the end of his college career, Jerome stood at a crossroads, the decision was clear to take the leap into the professional world. In 1992, he made the switch to professional bull riding, joining the ranks of the PRCA and the PBR, the pinnacles of the sport. His rise was lightning fast and his talent was indisputable. But in 1993, Jerome's story took a surprising turn. His skill and charisma caught the eye of Hollywood, leading to his casting as a stunt double for Luke Perry in the movie Eight Seconds. In addition to showcasing his skills as a bull rider, the role helped tell his story to a larger audience. From a boy with a dream in North Carolina to a college champion in Texas, and finally to a professional rider on the biggest stages of rodeo and even on the silver screen, Jerome's love for bull riding was taking him to new heights. In 1995, he reached the peak of his career. It was a year where his dreams and reality collided in an amazing way. He became the PRCA World Bull Riding Champion, a title that every cowboy dreams of. This victory wasn't just a win, 
It was a confirmation of his talent, determination, and bravery. At that moment, Jerome wasn't just a bull rider. He embodied the essence of the sport. Every ride, every intense eight-second battle with the toughest bulls had led him to this pinnacle. The gold buckle, the symbol of rodeo supremacy, was now his. Jerome had made his mark in the history of bull riding. But Jerome wasn't one to rest on his laurels. His championship win was just the beginning of his journey to more triumphs. He continued to dominate the sport, consistently ranking among the top five in the PRCA each year. He became synonymous with excellence, and his presence in the arena guaranteed an electrifying performance. Qualifying for the national finals became a regular event for Jerome. Every year he faced the best of the best and not only competed but excelled. His rides were more than just displays of skill. They were showcases of a master at work, a cowboy who had surpassed the ordinary to become a legend in his time. The fateful day. On March 14, 1998, something happened in the rodeo world that nobody expected. Jerome, who was at the top of his game, had to face a bull named Knock Em Out John in Fort Worth, Texas. This bull was known for being strong and erratic, even for someone as skilled as Jerome. As Jerome got on Knock Em Out John, you could feel the tension in the air. The ride started, and it was a battle between man and beast, something that had defined Jerome's life. But then, in a terrifying moment, everything went wrong. Just five seconds in, Jerome was thrown forward by a powerful buck, and his jaw collided with the bull's horn. He ended up lying dead in the dirt, and the cheers from the crowd turned into complete silence. The fall had caused a terrible injury. Jerome had broken his neck and was paralyzed from the chest down. In an instant, the life of one of Rodeo's brightest stars was changed forever. The news of his accident shocked everyone in the rodeo community. Family, friends, and fans were all worried by what had happened. Steve McKenzie, a family friend of Jerome, said, It was devastating, but he's as tough as nails. They don't come any tougher than Jerome Davis, physically or mentally. His aunt, Felicia Majors, also had hope and faith that her nephew would recover. As Jerome lay in a hospital in Fort Worth, surrounded by uncertainty and covered in casts, people started to realize just how dangerous the sport he loved could be. But even in the midst of this tragedy, Jerome's strength of character began to shine through. His journey was far from over. It was just taking a new and unknown path. The Climb Back The aftermath of the accident was a period of immense challenge for Jerome. Life, as he knew it, had changed forever. Paralyzed from the chest down, he faced a hard road to recovery, dealing with the physical limitations and emotional turmoil that accompanied his injury. The once invincible bull rider was now navigating the toughest ride of his life, the journey of rehabilitation and adaptation to a new way of functioning. But amidst these trials, Jerome's invincible spirit radiated with brightness. A significant source of strength during this time was his relationship with Tiffany Brady. Their bond, forged in the fires of adversity, led to their marriage on October 17, 1998. Jerome's drive and focus not only uplifted him, but also became a source of motivation for Tiffany and countless others. His passion for bull riding, unaffected by his accident, found a new avenue of expression. He evolved into a major figure in the sport as a stock contractor contributing some of the toughest bulls to the PBR circuit. His involvement in PBR events continued, not as a rider, but as a respected figure whose experience and expertise were invaluable. Jerome's story of resilience and determination captured the hearts and imaginations of people well beyond the rodeo world. He was profiled in prominent magazines like People and Sports Illustrated and appeared on television shows such as Discovery and Extra. Each appearance was a display of his legendary personality. Embracing his love for rodeo, Jerome created a legacy that would extend his impact on the sport. He founded the Jerome Davis Invitational, an annual rodeo event hosted at the Davis Family Ranch in Archdale, North Carolina. This event not only celebrates the sport he loves, but also serves as a gathering for the community, a symbol of Jerome's commitment to the rodeo world and his enduring spirit. Jerome's journey is all about never giving up. It shows us what it really means to be tough. Not just for athletes, but for everyone, his ability to tackle tough times with bravery and positivity is a real inspiration. 
His story proves that even when life throws you a curveball, you can turn it into a chance to grow and inspire others.